So, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm not that great. Yeah. Uh, I'm just a chemist. I'm a person who knows about materials, but uh, I don't know so much. And I, I'm pretty mediocre. For example, I don't do any sports or I cannot dance. I never take any cold showers, for example. Uh, and I cannot do all these nice exercises, but I want to ask you something. Um, do you like organic food? Can you raise your hand who likes organic food? Yeah, you are the problem. <laughs> because I, every morning you know, I fall into deep depression for 10 seconds. You know, <laughs> because I sit on the toilet. <clears throat> Yeah. And then, basically, I can show you what it means. Uh, I make excrements, like a baby. And that's what you do as well. But isn't it amazing that there is not one organic label which allows that my excrements are included, not one. Whatever you do, when I make, never allows me to be involved. And that's a problem. So we are in deep shit because we don't respect shit. <laughs> we can do a lot of innovations, and we can look at things and make it differently. And we can reduce our ecological footprint. Like, for example, uh, people say, please protect the environment. Don't make so much waste. Yeah. Please um, protect the environment. Don't use so much water. Please protect the environment. Don't use your car that often. So this is what we call environmental protection, when we destroy a little less. Yeah. That's the same if you would say, please protect your child beat your child only three times instead of five times. Yeah. We think we, do, we protect when we destroy less, but it's not protecting, it's only minimizing destruction. And this is where we are. We make waste all over the planet, and it looks crazy. Why can't we make a different thing? Why can't we make a footprint which is beneficial? But this is what we do. We try to be less bad. Yeah. For example, I can do something like Zach, I can re cut my hair short to minimize my shampoo consumption. Yeah. Or I can reduce my footprint by, uh, for example, taking the elevator. Yeah. Because when you take the elevator, you can be uh, five times less bad. Because it takes for a vegetarian five times more energy to lift somebody uh, by taking the stairs than taking the elevator. A human calorie is five times more energy intensive than taking the elevator. So whenever you want to protect the environment, take the elevator. Yeah. Because it's, yeah, it takes so much less energy when you have an elevator, yeah, because the human calorie is so much. Yeah. So you can do a lot, for example, never drink sparkling water because it's three liters of carbon dioxide. Yeah. Or we can do a lot, we call it sustainability. Yeah. So when I ask you, how is your relationship with your girlfriend, what do you say? Sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> so this is not about minimizing being bad, it's about being good. We talk about reducing carbon dioxide emissions, but two-thirds of all the carbon is in soil, not in oil, not in coal. Two-thirds of all the carbon is in topsoil. So we want to be carbon neutral. But what, why, would, why don't we make a footprint which is beneficial instead of carbon neutral? People try to be less bad. You know, said, oh yes, I, my, I'm 90% bad, 80% bad and my goal is zero, carbon neutral. For example, Europe has a goal to be carbon neutral in 2050. You can be only carbon neutral when you don't exist. That's the only way, yeah. 
just by thinking you're not carbon neutral. Yeah. So how can you say my biggest goal is to be carbon neutral? Out of all these environmental disasters, Itai, Itai, Seviso, Bhopal, Ch Love Canal, Chernobyl, we generated the feeling it's better we are not here. And when you are at the Amazon, you think we are a pain for the planet. This is why we try to be less bad. Yeah. That's why we try to reduce our footprint. Maybe you know this joke says one planet meets another planet and says, you really look terrible today. Then the other planet says, yes, I have homo sapiens. Yeah. The first planet answers, don't worry, I had this before, it will disappear somehow. So we feel so bad that we think it's better we are not here. With all these environmental disasters, we lost a whole generation of good scientists. We have a lot of smart MBAs, we have brilliant lawyers, but we don't have enough engineers, we don't have enough good scientists, because how can you study chemistry when you see Bhopal? How can you study physics when you see Chernobyl? Yeah. And the one who studied scientists did, with, did it with a bad consciousness. So this is why they try to be less bad. We apologize every day for being here. So that's the reason that we try to minimize our footprint. We walk, and when we are in Sweden, for example, yeah, your footprint means destruction. That's why people tr tr try to minimize their footprint. But when you're here, your footprint means the water stays longer. So why do we want to minimize our footprint when we can have a beneficial footprint? So we can make things completely differently. But this is what we do here. Yeah. It stinks. Yeah. This is PVC never designed to go in biological systems. This is our catalog. It stinks. Never designed for toilet paper. It's hazardous waste. We need to reinvent our products, and the products need to look differently, completely differently. Everything what gets consumed, like food, like detergents, like brake pads, needs to be designed to go into biological systems. Everything that is just used as a service needs to go back in a technical system. So you cannot uh, consume a window. Yeah, you don't consume a washing machine. You don't consume a TV set. You only use it. So we need to distinguish between two different cycles. Things which get, get consumed, like shoe salts, need to be designed to go to biological systems. Things which are just used like a washing machine need to be designed for the technical cycle. But right now, they're just hazardous waste. So we need, need to reinvent our products completely from the beginning. And you could see this with Paul, or you could see this with tech. We had a lot of benefit in the United States because of George Bush. Yeah. George Bush was great for us. So now we have so many creative people which you could hear here, because we had George Bush. Yeah. In November 2007, I was in, in Australia, and in, in Sydney, and there was George Bush, and he said, oh, I'm so glad to be in Austria. Yeah. <laughs> because after seven years in power, yeah, he didn't know the difference between Austria and Australia. And then he was opening a conference, and it, he taught Vienna, Austria, so he was opening the OPEC conference. Yeah. But it was not the OPEC conference, it was the APEC conference, the Asian Pacific conference. Yeah. When this is your president, you know you have some potential as well. Yeah. You don't wait for the government anymore. That's why we have this huge innovation in the United States. Now, with Mr. Obama, everybody sits back and relaxes and waits. What is the president doing? But before that, we had George Bush, and so we knew it's up to us. We didn't wait for the government anymore. Yeah. So in a certain way, George Bush was beneficial, but only in a certain, definitely. That means we need to reinvent our products. Yeah. Everything, what we see in front of us, is not designed. Yeah. You talk about colors in Brazil, but all the colors which you see 
are hazardous waste. Even the flip-flops which we saw are hazardous waste. 35 million flip-flops go to, into the oceans every year, 35 million. There are more seals, more whales, more turtles, more dolphins killed by flip-flops yeah, than by anything else because the animals eat the plastic. There are 12 million tons of plastic going into the oceans. Nothing is designed to go into biological systems. Nothing is designed to go into the biosphere. We feel so bad that we are here, that we are romanticizing nature. Yeah. People talk about Mother Earth, yeah. but there is no Mother Earth. The strongest carcinogens are natural chemicals. The most toxic chemicals are natural chemicals. Which mother would give cancer to her child? When we are romanticizing nature, we are putting us down, yeah, because the mother is good, so the child is bad. Yeah. So there is no mother earth. No, we can learn from nature. It's a partnership. It's learning. It's being proud of our own quality as well. Our natural lifetime expectation is 30 years. Yeah. When we get older, it's our creativity. It's our civilization. It's our science. It's our industry. It's our medicine. So we don't need to talk about Mother Earth. A mother would not uh, have a, a, a girl losing her leg just by biting. Yeah. No. So there is no reason to romanticize nature, because when we romanticize nature, yeah, we always feel guilty. And out of guilt, you are not creative. Out of guilt, you cannot develop new things. So it's about becoming native to the planet. Why do we delegate to be native to the Yanomanis? We are the native people of this planet. Why do we delegate to be in, in harmony with nature to Aborigines? We are the Aborigines of the planet. We are the natives of this planet. And if we don't learn to become native to this planet, yeah, then we will destroy each other. Look, for example, we talk about overpopulation. Yeah, you could see this curve of oh, overpopulation. The weight of ants yeah, is about four times more than of human beings. And because ants don't make waste, because ants live only three to six months, and because ants never take elevators, yeah, they equal about 30 billion people in their calorie consumption. So we are not too many, we are just as stupid. We make waste. Even when you think about zero waste, you think about waste. Yeah. It's the same thing. When I talk, tell you, don't think about a, a pink crocodile. You think about a pink crocodile. Yeah. But nature doesn't think about waste. Nature only makes stuff for biological cycles. So we can learn from nature. But we do not just live yeah, with we, we like washing machines, we like computers. You cannot make an energy-saving window without toxic materials in it, otherwise it doesn't work. So, but this means to reinvent our materials to go into technical cycles. So we now make washing machines where you can just sell 3,000 times of washing. Yeah. We now make materials which can go into technical cycles and biological cycles. But this means to reinvent everything what you see in front of you. We don't need to say, oh, I'm so sorry to be here. We can say, hey, we are not good enough. Our designers are not good enough because they make toxic waste. Yeah. Yeah. Now we try to minimize our footprint, but we reach the opposite. We are making the wrong things perfect, and by that, they are perfectly wrong. When we now make these things of a recycling, we only contaminate the biological system because it's never designed for recycling. That's why design, that's why what you do is so important. But right now, this design is amazingly primitive. Look, I became a designer. You can see, when you look in the internet, you find I'm designing materials. I'm designing materials like uh, washing machines where you only sell 5,000 times of washing. But this is because the designers don't do their job. I'm designing edible fabrics, but what do we see here? Stinking PVC, yeah, never designed for human beings. Destroying fertility. The whole system is very primitive. 
That means we need to reinvent all our materials again. So this is the amount of diapers which one baby makes in just in one year. Yeah. In Europe, 20% of our waste stream in households are diapers. Yeah. And because we are getting older, the diapers get bigger. Yeah. There's some potential in it. A baby takes about 7,500 diapers. Yeah. If we would make diapers yeah, for babies, which would allow that they could go in biological systems, if you would change the super absorbers and the plastics, we could grow with one baby, 150 trees, just with one baby. So the baby could be carbon positive from the beginning. A tree is carbon positive, not carbon neutral. With learning how to use the sun, we can reinvent everything to go back in technical systems or biological systems. We can make buildings like trees. We can be carbon positive. We can look at the child and say, instead of, oh shit, overpopulation, we can say, holy shit, yeah, how nice. Thank you very much.